Okay, welcome to this video on visualization of fMRI results. So if we look at our entire fMRI analysis pipeline again, you can see we've gone through all of these steps of pre-processing, first level analysis and second level analysis. And then after statistical inference, the final step is to actually plot these results on a nice brain figure. So what I want to first show you again is how to export your results from SPM12. So first things first, we start SPM12 again, and then you navigate to your folder where you ran your second level analysis. So for example, in this case, faces versus scrambled. And so in SPM, we can click on results and then open the SPM.mat file in this folder and then click on our contrast of faces versus scrambled. First, I'm gonna threshold this again at none 0.001 at the voxel level, no extent threshold. So SPM tells us again for cluster-wise FWE correction, we would need an extent threshold here of 162 voxels. So I'm gonna do this, significance level change, none, 001, and then 162 voxels. Now we've properly corrected this image at the cluster level um, at FWE, P less than 0 0.05. And now you can export this thresholded image by clicking on display save thresholded SPM. And then I like to call this a reasonable name, something like faces versus scrambled voxel 001 and then cluster FWE05. And now we've created this nifty image in the current folder and now i want to open the other side of this contrast as well by clicking on contrasts change contrast and then scrambled larger faces and here it's telling us the cluster threshold is 140 so we can set this by clicking on contrast significance level change none 001 and then 140 and now we've also corrected this image at the cluster level and we can export this the same way by clicking on display, save threshold SPM. And now we put in scrambled versus faces, voxel 001, CFWE05. And now SPM also creates us this image. And now we can use these images as an overlay in a program that can plot brain images. And this is the main topic of today, how to plot fMRI figures. And there are three main figure types, uh, slices, 3D renders and glass brain images, as well as surface projections. So starting with brain slices, these are essentially slices through the brain, as the name says, right? And there are different programs that can do this, MRI Cron, for example, MRI Cro GL and Mango. And it's often reasonable to show both sides of the contrast. So the positive activations and the negative activations in the other side. So in this case, uh, faces larger than scrambled and scrambled larger than faces. And for this, you want to use reasonable color maps. For example, activations in the literature are typically shown in warm colors from red to yellow. Uh, these are color maps called hot or autumn, depending on the software package. And you can plot deactivations, so negative activations in cold colors, for example, from blue to green. And these color maps are called cold or winter. You always also want to remember to add color bars to your figure so you know what actually the colors mean. So for example, in this case, we're plotting T maps uh, from two to six or uh, minus two to minus six, respectively. Okay, I want to show you how to do this in MRI Cro GL as an example. So to find this, you just Google MRI Cro GL and it will be the first result. And then you can download this from this website for your operating system. All right, so once this is downloaded, you can simply open and uh, extract it. And this is simply an exe file that you can run, okay. And so now this has already opened an MNI image as background, a template 
image that we can then add our overlays onto. So you go to file, add overlay, then you navigate to the folder where you saved your second level images. And we click on faces versus scrambled first. Now we choose a reasonable color map. So for example, I like to choose hot here and then go from two to six. And now we can also add our negative activations. We go to file, add overlay again and click on scrambled versus faces. Here I will select winter as a color map, again going from two to six. Now one option to display slices is to go to display and then mosaic. And this shows multiple slices on one image. And now you can also change how many slices we want to show. So for example, uh, six columns and three rows in um, sagittal orientation, which I prefer. So we go from uh, left to right essentially through the brain. It's also shown in which coordinate in the x-axis we are. And this I think is a nice um, representation. So we can see, for example, clearly the activation here in the uh, kind of left temporal parietal junction and also in the uh, occipital cortex as well as here in the, in the fusiform. All right, the next type of figure I want to show you are 3D renders and glass brain projections. So essentially we have volumetric activations in 3D space, right? So we can render them as 3D renders. And one program here again that can do this is MRI CrowGL, which I already opened. And this essentially looks similar to this. You can increase the transparency of your overlays to show deeper clusters inside the brain. And it's also possible to do slices, for example, to slice along the medial surface so we can reveal uh, clusters that are deep inside and are, for example, on the uh, medial surface. All right, so to do this in MRI Crow GL, we can click on display, render, and then it shows you this template brain. And now on the left side here, we can change a couple of things. For example, we could um, increase the depth of the overlay by going to overlay depth and increasing the slider. And now you can see how deeper structures become more transparent. And we can essentially, if you go all the way to the top, you can see basically through the brain. So this can sometimes be a nice way to show your activations. But you can see if uh, we go here, for example, to the side, and if we export this as an image, it's quite chaotic. So you can't really clearly see where uh, different clusters are, how deep they are. So what some people prefer because of this is to use glass brain projections where you can essentially see through the entire brain and reveal deeper structures and activations. Uh, MRICRO-GL can also do this as well as, for example, Nylearn, a Python package. So this would be one way uh, to show this on a black background. If we use a white background, it would look like this. So to do this in MRI Crow GL, we can click here under render as default, we can choose glass. And now we have this glass brain projection where it makes it a bit easier, I think, to see where different structures are. For example, if you go from the top, you can quite clearly see that we have this one activation here, for example, on the medial surface, and we have these clusters here going from the occipital cortex down towards the temporal lobe. All right, these are 3D renders and glass brain projections. One final figure type I want to show you are surface projections. And these are essentially interpolations of your activations to the cortical surface. And this is often the clearest form of visualization and therefore my personal preference to plot fMRI results. There are again different programs that can do this. MNI2FS, for example, is a MATLAB package. Nylearn and PyCortex are Python packages. SPM12 itself also has an option to plot on the cortical surface, as well as the BrainNet viewer. This here is MNI2FS, and it's often a convention in the literature to show four views, uh, namely left and right, and lateral and medial surfaces. 
In this way, you can nicely see basically the entire brain and it's easy to localize where your activations are. For example, that we have this cluster here in the left uh, temporal parietal junction. And you can also nicely see these medial prefrontal clusters here, as well as the um, occipital temporal uh, clusters here. This is basically the same, but now plotted with the BrainNet viewer. And you can see the BrainNet viewer uses a somewhat different uh, template and the activations look a bit different, but essentially the idea is the same. We project our activations on the cortical surface. Okay, so for MNI2FS, you want to Google MNI2FS and then the first thing you will find is this GitHub page. And you can download this package here by going to code and then download zip. Okay, once this is downloaded, you want to extract this as well. And now this folder we want to add to MATLAB so we can use the toolbox. And I've written my own little script to execute the toolbox, which you're free to download. And now you only need to change a couple of things here. Of course, you need to change the path to your toolbox folder. So in this case, it would be this path here for me. Add the path. And here is the part of the script where I actually plot the brain as well as the overlay. So here you only need to change the things that are highlighted with the 3% marks. Uh, which is choosing the hemisphere. So you need to choose the left hemisphere or the right, LH for left, RH for right. So we choose left here, LH. Then you can choose the inflation level where one is no inflation and six is full, complete, full blown up brain. Then you need to choose the position of the camera. And I've already put in some values here that I find useful. So for example, to show the left lateral surface, we can put in minus 100, zero. And then you actually need to define the overlay path to your thresholded nifty image. And so the first overlay I wanna choose is faces larger than scrambled, so this one. So we can navigate to this folder again here and choose essentially this image slash this one. Okay. And then finally, at the bottom here, we have to choose a color map. So for example, for positive activations, as in this case, I like to choose autumn or hot. So these are just your MATLAB color maps. So to find out which ones there are, you can simply Google this. And now you'll find, for example, here as the image, your typical MATLAB color maps. And you can also put in your own values by hand. So for example, if you just want to plot everything in dark red, you would put in 0 0.800 here. And then finally, we have to choose the range of T values to plot. So in this case, I like to plot from two to six. If you wanted to plot from two to eight, you would put in two eight. And so if we run this section, then it will plot our overlay on this free surfer average brain. Okay, and at the bottom, you can also choose to add another overlay. So in this case, for example, I would like to plot the negative activations at the same time. So scrambled larger than faces. So we can put in this path. Scrambled versus faces. And then here again at the bottom, you only need to change the color map, for example, to winter. And then again, choose your range of T values such as two to six. And so now if we run the entire script, you can see it plots also the negative activations in cold colors. So finally, you would like to export this. And what I often just like to do is click on file, save as, and then choose as file type, for example, PNG. And then we can choose a reasonable name, something like scrambled versus faces, left, lateral, save. So now I would also create the other views. So for the 
left medial view, what I like to choose is 100, 0. So you would change the view to 100, 0. Execute the script again. Now you get the medial view and we can save this with file, save as, and then choose left med. For the right lateral surface, you would change S hem to RH for right hemisphere. And then the right lateral view is also 100, 0. Run the script again. Now we have the right lateral view, file, save as, and then right lat. And then finally the right medial view I like to choose minus 80, 0 for this one. So we put in minus 80, 0. Run the script again. And finally, we also save this file, save as. And then we choose write med. And now we have these four images, which we can put together in a photo editing software, for example. Okay, finally, I also want to show you how to do something similar with the BrainNet viewer. So again, we can Google BrainNet viewer. The first result will be the page. And now we have several uh, download options, such as downloading the MATLAB code. There are also standalone versions, but I actually like to use the MATLAB version. So we download this. So once this is downloaded, you can open up this zip file. Again, we extract everything. And now we have to add the path to this package by copying this path. And then we can do add path this. And then we can simply do brain net. Brain net view is gonna open. And the first thing we wanna do is click on file load file. Now as the surface file, you can choose one of the templates that come with BrainNet Viewer. Uh, so for example, this ICBM 152 brain mesh is quite nice. Click on open. And then as the mapping file, we want to choose our overlay. So you can click on browse. And then we choose our faces versus scrambled image. Click on OK. And now the typical four convention view that I showed you is lateral and medial view. So we choose this. And then also under volume, we can choose the color map here under color map. So for example, choosing hot again. And then as the range, we again want to go from two to six. And then we can simply click OK. And now we get a nice plot of our activations. Let's try out a different template. So under surface file, we can also go on smoothed. Click OK. Lateral medial view volume two to six. And this is the template I showed you earlier where we have like a smoothed cortical surface. So to export this again, we can go to file and then save image. And then you choose a reasonable name, something like faces versus scrambled for views. And then we can choose our image type such as TIFF or again, a PNG image. And then we click on save. Image has been saved, success. And so if we go to our folder, then now we have this PNG image. And this is already a pretty nice image, even with left and right, uh, which you can put into your paper.